so one more thing as uh, we just <clears throat> uh there was there is a misconception that mpl is going uh, as we going to replace mpls that we discussed yeah. yesterday that is a misconception that's not correct mm -hmm. i totally agree with that uh, but one thing uh, that is technically uh, if we think about uh, from the technical perspective is not mm -hmm. going to happen but if we think from the financial aspects mm -hmm. i since i net uh, internet is uh, is a cheaper solution and uh, mm -hmm. as to to um, to have a svn setup we do not uh, it does, doesn't depend upon the on the on the, on the main the, you know that the transport uh, mm -hmm. it, it could be mpls it could be uh, traditional uh, internet it could be anything right mm -hmm. so fun if we look at the financial aspect most of the people would like to go for uh, internet uh, only right. connection right. only right so that way it can replace mpls so we think about it in one perspective to save the cost but yeah. you your your management or your senior most people will also think about whether relying on commodity internet performance for latency sensory data will be a good choice or a bad choice. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Yes, correct. Technically, it's not a good choice. <laughs> so what people are telling or what people are taking decisions about is they are, they are not retaining the full capacity of MPLS that they had. They are only they are only retaining the MPLS subscription for the need of sending latency sensory data. So your mm. cost is not completely being you can say vanished, but your cost is being reduced according to the survey of SD WAN solution to sixty five percent. Okay, okay, that makes sense. sense. So now yeah. if you depend on to sending user or sending latency sensory data like voice and video traffic. Okay, two MPLS um, networks, and for the other communication, you basically rely on to commodity internet. Yes, that's a good design. Yeah, yeah. got it. Yeah. Anyone else has any questions? Abhi, uh, yeah. yeah, a couple of things. First thing is, it's a. Uh, I could not see the word slide. It's V edge and E edge or what? It's V edge and C edge. C edge Cisco device edge, okay. Yeah, with Tela edge Cisco edge. Okay, another thing is, uh, as you spoke about uh, reliability part with the internet circuit, but right now if you notice all business are moving to cloud, right? So internet circuit is becoming more prominent and more uh, in picture That's now, correct. right? Yeah. So uh, how with this ST WAN, how are the reliability part, or is there any feature like earlier? We know that river with reverber, we had this optimization part, everything is coming in picture. Mm -hmm. With mm -hmm. this ST WAN, uh, considering all the cloud enhancement coming up in future, mostly everything right. will be in cloud as well. So mm -hmm. how uh, this reliability fact. Uh, uh, factor is handled by ST1 technology like uh, because ST1 also provides you options to host everything on cloud. Mm -hmm. So with that, you can you can achieve uh, cloud deployment models into your infrastructure. So the reliability of uh, reliability of connectivity uh, for for keeping your branches always talk to each other is kind of um, outsourced to the cloud service provider, right? You don't really need to take care of keeping the reliability up and running. So you can keep your uh, controllers hosted onto cloud services. You can even keep your managers hosted on the cloud services if you want to go ahead with that. No, because right now when we are on the teams also, this is also another um, application cloud, that is being used uh, in uh, numbers now with all the companies, right? So this yeah. is also another application, MS Teams, if you see, it's uh, purely internet based. You're connecting to right. internet on the company, it's with the local breakout. So uh, do we have a mechanism in sd WAN where we can uh, check the quality, like because this is real time traffic? Of course, yes. Of course, yes, yes. You have the ability to actually calculate uh, the, so BFD is a protocol that is actually used here that calculates mm -hmm. the latency jitter and drops. And mm -hmm. apart from that, by calculating these, you can build up SLAs. And with the help of those SLAs, you can actually put up policies like application aware routing policy, and you can prioritize your transports being used if a certain SLA matches up. Mm -hmm. So with the help of SD WAN policies, you can fine tune your LAN and WAN traffic and what, what particular transport needs to be used 
for for a specific destination what particular transport needs to be used for doing breakouts all of these particular scenarios are being provided or being taken care of in the solution which we have labs as well to test okay so mainly the theater and all those parameters are also in Correct. the solution of it yeah and bfd is the protocol that's that's calculating it Okay. Okay. We'll uh, as we move. I think we can have more insight. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Oh, Abhijit, uh, Shankar's side. So as you just discussed uh, this point, I think that uh, sorry, I uh, missed the name of the person who was uh, who just raised mm -hmm. this question. Uh, so as for this discussion, I think that again overrides this uh, this statement that mm -hmm. MPLS gonna um, so uh, is even gonna replace MPLS because uh, we just discussed the reliability factor, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We the organizations are um, choosing MPLS over internet just because of the reliability factors, right? right? But and we just discussed that uh, internet is also getting reliable and reliable day by day, right? See so, now you now you understand it in one way. We are saying that internet is becoming reliable. It doesn't mean that internet is the only option that companies will depend upon. Will you? No matter how good the internet or how public links become, will you ever give away redundancy options? No. Even if there is a 0.00001% of downtime that your company might face, uh, prominent companies or companies which depends on to applications being their user consumption model or which become which, which completely depends on to data delivery as their business model, they will still want redundancy to be considered, right? That even mm -hmm. if in any case, even in act of God, if the data mm -hmm. center is wiped out, then companies mm -hmm. are spending billions of dollars creating backup data centers, right? Yes, correct. And it's very now. Now you can see that SD WAN is providing the ability uh, or providing a hope that people, instead of going from active standby model, they can go to active active model, right? Where they can load balance the traffic between data centers, or they can load balance the traffic between transports. So when we look at redundancy, we think about two aspects, right? Either we have redundant devices and we have redundant links as well. Make sense? So even if it, it doesn't matter how prominent or how well efficient uh, internet or commodity internet becomes, people still either will have uh, multiple commodity internet circuits or they will have um, a commodity internet and a premium circuit. Mm -hmm. So you can say that again, I said MPL, it, it completely is a misconception that MPLS is going to be um, vanished because of SD-WAN or something like that. You need to understand MPLS is not going to go away very soon. We said that IPv6 is kind of a boom, yeah. right? But we, we still are transitioning into IPv6 and we still depend more onto IPv4 and netting solutions. Mm, so it's not yeah. a sudden change that's going to happen. I cannot predict I cannot the future, but I can say that it might be possible that we will more of depend on to community internet circuit or in future there might be something else that might overtake MPLS. But you cannot just depend on to one single option. I would say redundancy is never, never, never going to go away. So for that, as I said, that the amount of cost that you can save currently is being presumed to 65%. That, that number might increase because of internet becoming more prominent and more reliable and so on. But internet will can become reliable to 99.99%. It cannot become reliable to 100%. Make sense? Mm, yes, yes. That's, Thanks that's for this detailed answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So now, as I said, that's why that's why uh, even in SD WAN solution, we we still consider internet and we still consider MPLS to to be uh, stated as the scenario here. Mm 